And I'm Lisa Bell. Orlando police say a 22-year-old father admitted to punching his baby. And despite that admission, he was granted bond this afternoon. His baby was found unconscious in the same house where accused cop killer Mark Keith Lloyd was found. It is a story that has captivated the Carver Shores neighborhood yet again today. And it's one New 6's Nadine Giannis has been getting more information on. And she joins us now live from Orange County. And Nadine, right now this father is facing aggravated child abuse charges. Charges. He is, but Orlando police say they hope to soon charge him with second degree murder pending the medical examiner's autopsy report. But as it stands now, he is charged with aggravated child abuse and he was granted a $5,000 bond, meaning this 22 year old dad charged with hurting his infant daughter to the point where she died could soon walk out of these doors. In his mugshot, right above his eye is a tattoo that reads Kali, the same name of his five-month-old baby girl, seen here in an obituary posted online. This dad is now charged with hurting, resulting in her death. Mr. Castell, you're here for a charge of aggravated child abuse. 22-year-old Dakari Castell was arrested last night, the result of a nearly two-week investigation. After baby Kali was found unconscious in the same house accused cop killer Markeith Lloyd was found in, back in January. Back then, the house was abandoned, but today we learn Castell's mother lives here, and that's where he says he and his family, including baby Collie and her mom, all sought shelter at during Hurricane Irma. According to his arrest report, after telling detectives several different stories in three different interviews, he ultimately broke down, admitting that he was stressed because he was without power and that the baby wouldn't stop crying, so he punched her. The medical examiner telling detectives, according to the report, that baby Collie had a fractured skull and brain bleeding consistent with being hit. Castell was arrested, but today granted bond of only $5,000. No contact with any person under the age of 18. Is and he's not to have any unsupervised contact with his other three kids. So we're waiting to see if Castell is going to bond out. I checked with the jail. As of right now, he still has a no bond status, but we did learn that his grandmother actually owns a bail bonding business not far from where this all happened at 5 o'clock. We're going to take you back to that now infamous Carver Shores neighborhood to speak with the folks there to see their reaction on everything that's happened there in the last few months. Until then, we're live at the Orange County Jail. Arinianis, News 6.